you know, my last regret was going to jail. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and leaving my son behind. When I went to jail, my son was five years old. You know what I'm saying? And in my mind, I was thinking everything I'm doing, I'm doing it for my son. Make sure he live a better life than me. I ended up losing my son. I ended up losing my son. 26 years old. Out here with these other youngsters, man, taking them pills, man. Them youngsters, they don't know what's in them pills, man. <laughs> They got that fentanyl shit and everything, man. I never thought I'd lose my son like that. For all you youngsters out there, man, y'all should be burying y'all parents, man. They should never have to bury you. All I can tell y'all, man, is leave that shit alone, man. That shit coming over from China, fentanyl getting sent from China to fucking Mexico, and fucking Mexico is sending that shit over here, man. And it's like we be being targeted. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because I ain't never seen a motherfucker selling dope that's going to kill the people that's buying it. It's like we being targeted, man. You know? I got to spend I got out of jail in 20, 2012 I got to spend 12 years with my 11 years with my son before he passed but man that ain't enough that ain't enough Well, I know, I know he's in a better place, man. You know, I know that, but that, you know, that really don't ease my pain. <sighs> Ain't nothing like losing a kid, man. Especially when you was a real father. You know, you got all these fathers out here, man, that's not claiming their kids, that don't give a damn about their kids, man. Being a father, man, is one of the greatest gifts that God gave us. <laughs> All you fathers out there, man, tighten your game up, man. Man, you know, and I was in jail so much in my life, you know, I only had two kids, man. You know? Because I didn't want to be one of them dudes out there that have kids all over the world. I could have. You know, I could have 50 kids right now. Really, I wish I did. And you got fathers out here that don't even want to claim their kids. They don't know what that do to a kid, man. I grew up without a father. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons I turned to gangbanger. Trying to fulfill a, a space in my heart for my father with the gang, man. And that's real. Y'all doing a whole lot of damage to these kids, man, by abandoning them. I just want to thank you for not just being someone who who's the glue of holding together this low riding community, but also too someone who's not scared to get out of here to say what he feel, to recognize your regrets, and for you to sit here and to give words of encouragement 
um, positivity to everybody out there, not just to the youngsters, but everybody out there. And at the end of the day, gangster, I just want to let you know that we love you. You're always welcome to come here. And, you know, one thing that you taught me was to keep control and control the narrative. And that's what I respect about you, your channel, what you got going on, and that you see me and CJ Mack is doing the same thing. You know, and we love you, man. It was my pleasure being here, man. Y'all already know anything got to do with positivity, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't been on a lot of them other dumbass channels, man, because, you know what I'm saying, it's a whole lot of nonsense. And I'm, all, I'm all about trying to bring our people together, man, because like I said, all we that's all we got to do is come together, man. Everything else been laid out for us. And it's so easy, and that's why all these other races is is scared, man. They depend on us being separated, because just imagine if we came together and we opened up our own businesses. That mean they got to go. What they can't go in where they live at and open the businesses that they got where we at. You know what I'm saying? So that mean they gonna be broke, or they gonna be struggling. You know, so they they depending on our separation, man. You know what I'm saying? But we got a lot of brothers and sisters that, that I just think they just need to be woke. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Once once you wake up, man, and you can see the real, but it's plain as day. We know we see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how a lot of these other people don't see it. Because, you know, a lot of people, they just living day to day, man. You know what I'm saying? We Everybody here, homie, got a purpose. It's just that you got to figure out what that purpose is and follow it, man. We all got a purpose. We all we got all we all got a position to play. It's just that when it come to brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying. You got linebackers wanting to play quarterback when they know they ain't no quarterback. Somebody got to be in control. Somebody got to guide the narrative. You know what I'm saying. Just sit back and play your position. Thank you, man. Thank you for today, bro. You gave us heart and soul, man. We love you, bro.